Kula James Oreb Karibu sana Asante sana Your Excellency the 5th Dr. Raila Amolo Odinga and your entire delegation and the leadership of Azimio in London. Yeah. London Tilly! Yeah. London Yalala! Yeah. London Ra! <laughs> now, when we were coming right out here in the building, I felt a lot of positive energy. And as I entered this hall, the energy was doubled. And I can tell you, if Baba carries the energy from London back home, the things that are going to happen is more than has happened so far. Let me just make a few remarks. You know, we don't want to take the diaspora for granted. And we should not come here and talk to the diaspora as if you are on a pleasing mission. Thank you. We believe that in the leadership and uh, the future of the country called Kenya, the diaspora has got a big role to play. And I can tell you, the fifth has been part of the diaspora as a student, as a professional, and as an exile. So part of the leadership that is coming in August the 9th this year has got the experience of the diaspora. And if that was not enough, you know the first president of the Republic of Kenya was part of the diaspora here in London. So we, if there's a leadership crisis in Kenya, we know the diaspora is always there to provide leadership. I wanted just to say one thing. Great nations, great nations are built with great ideas. There's no single nation, big or small, that is prosperous and great today without a big idea. And this leadership under Raila Molodinga has got a big vision for the country called Kenya. There are leaders now who would want to, want to talk about the future, and the future is important. But if you don't talk about the present and the past, the record of the past and the present, then you cannot uh, uh, provide a solution for the future. And I tell you, if you look at what is happening in Kenya today, which is positive, Vision 2030 which is the vision under which the presidency of Moai Kibaki and the partnership between Moai Kibaki and Raila Molodinga was guided, was started with the guidance of the fifth Raila Molodinga. Bringing multi-party back in Kenya to struggle and make Kenya a democratic and prosperous state it was part of Baba's grand idea that we are enjoying democracy today. <laughs> the vision about this new constitution that people are talking about every day, Constitution of Kenya 2010, it did not just come from the skies. It is the vision of the leadership of the struggle led by Raila Amolo Odinga. If you look at, even under the Jubilee government, currently, the ideas that have been achieved under the Jubilee government and under His Excellency, the President Uhuru Kenyatta, there was a vision about it and a planning about it. It didn't just happen. And I can tell you, you can find the hand of Raila Amolo Dinga in some of those plans. Now, on the other side, if you look at that leadership, what they were doing and saying about multi-party, about Vision 2030, 
about a new constitution, about integrity, I can tell you they score zero. And they were there when all these things were happening. And therefore, I believe. I really believe. I've never seen Kenya coming together as it is now. I've never. And when I came here, even when looking at your faces, I know the entire nation of Kenya is represented here in this hall in London today. So on the 9th of August, 2022, all in one accord, the President of the Republic of Kenya is going to be a great visionary and uh, with a great team called Raila Amon Odinga. Asante sana. Asante sana.